let's try that, just try that little basic melody. So, uh, Tonight I'm alone without you, my dear. Something like that. little bit is just you, know, you kind of think I like to think the words in my head just listen to the rain beat on my window pane in our little cabin home on the hill from the top Same little trick we did on the waltz. Someone has taken you from me. <laughs> so uh, now if you were going to kick that off, I'd probably use the, uh, the last 
I do use the last bit of the bridge, you know. Just listen to the rain beat on my window pane. Like that'd be a good kickoff, you know. singer would come in probably and then the rest would ensue from there. Let's try it again. Just play the melody. There we go. Sorry, I'll give you a little beat. Uh, four beats. Three. So one of the, I did a little something there. There's another little trick uh, device I like to use, and that's to play an augmented fifth. So, uh, so uh, I'll play that uh, uh, bridge there. I'm just raising that I'm in I'm in E, so it's one, three, five is the is the B. So I'm just gonna raise that up to create a little more tension to go to because we're you're going to this. Okay. So let me try it one more time here. That's like a, that's another, the five chord is called something called dominant chord. Uh, so that's just another variant on the dominant chord. So you're still playing an E7 chord technically, but now you've raised the fifth up. So you've got extra tension, which makes you want to resolve even more. Makes you want to get back to that one chord even more than you did before, you know. So uh, let's try that just for grins. So, so let's start, start from the bridge. So start on this note. Here we go. E there to play around on that, so it's the yeah, so it's so the beat. Try that a little bit.
it's the same rhythm I was doing on the first with the G sharp on the bottom, yeah. But you don't move the G sharp, you gotta keep it planted. So here's the chord you're playing basically. sevenths like especially on a four chord I'll just kind of try to play along with just like a not the melody some stock licks I you know stole from here and there you know but like so like if I wanted to play across that with just not doing the melody you know I just few stock things I was doing there like I like the uh, uh, for lack of a better term kind of rolling three note ragtime lick you know where you go so if I could do that across the first like here's the A chord you know on tonight I'm alone and the D without you my dear so I could do this
I just try to see how many choruses I can play without <laughs> repeating the same thing, you know. Yes. So it just and you just have to have like this bag of licks, you know, mm -hmm. and you just start to link them all together. And the best way to get those is to steal a bunch of licks, and then pretty soon, and then try them in different keys, you know. And pretty soon you're playing. Oh, I can string together four choruses of this bluegrass tune and not play the same thing over again, you know.